Hi there, I'm Teresa Ashkenazi from New York and I'm the messenger of the gospel. Hi, I'm Shalon. I live in South Minneapolis and I'm a messenger of the gospel. So we got to go on an outreach together in PV Park and I was really excited to go with my sister here. Um, we had a lot of fun. The first encounter we had was um, a woman who was um, was basically homeless, I would say, right? Yeah, yeah. she had a home, but uh, she was walking, where was she, in the House of Charity or something like that? House of Charity, which I think is like an overnight shelter. She had a lot of bags with her, so she seemed like she was just hanging out in the park for the day. And it was pretty cool because we were, you know, we were praying for the Lord to open up the door, and right away, when we walked up to her, she said, you can pray for me. Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, okay, we'll pray for you. <laughs> so we began to pray for her, and um, we talked to her about the Lord, and you could see there was just kind of like a fog on her, right? Yeah, definitely. And so uh, she asked for money, and we are like, well, you know what, we can buy you some food. So we decided to take her... Uh, to Subway, right? Yep, right across the street. Yeah, right across the street. So we start walking the Subway and praying because she's walking through the street, like almost getting hit by a car. <laughs> Remember that? So God was protecting her, and when we got into Subway, um, she, I, I gave her, we gave, we got some money together, and and you got her some food, right? Yep. She got she got a foot long and a drink. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And afterwards, you guys walked outside, right? Yep, so I, I asked her if she wanted to sit down and eat, and she said she was really tired, but like the way she said it, it seemed like she was talking about more than just being like sleepy. Like She looked like she was like tired of life, so yeah. she was starting to walk out and um, walk towards the park, and she seemed like she was getting upset. So I just like walked after her, and I asked her if she wanted to tell me what was going on, and she didn't really respond, and so I just started telling her that God loves her and that she doesn't have to struggle and that he can see her and um, that he wants to help her and she doesn't have to go through life alone and she just started crying. So yeah, so I actually walked out at that point seeing her crying and prior to that I was in Subway and there was a young man I was sharing the gospel with and got to pray with him um, and then I walk out and I could see something happen. I mean, just a shift. Darkness had just left her, and she's weeping. And so we we went over there right away. Um, I went over there and I joined them, and we began to lead her in the prayer, the sinner's prayer, and and um, and then we just began to just bind the strongholds over her life. And I'm praying for her, binding these strongholds, and then she starts screaming, "Yes, <laughs> leave me in Jesus' name!" You know, she wanted all these strongholds to be broken. She was screaming, right? Yeah, she was. I mean, then everybody was stopping <laughs> and looking at her. She was like, "Leave me! I want to be free!" You know, and it was like attention was all. And but the most important, the attention was God had intention on her. And yes. so we're just really believing that God's gonna minister to her even more. And um, you know, he's after her. He came to heal the brokenhearted. Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah, and she was hugging us at the end, and yeah. Yeah, I definitely could see something different in her eyes afterwards. Like, it seemed like the sadness was gone for at least for that moment. She looked yeah. like she had a little hope, Yeah. I think. Yeah, definitely. And as we're, as we're walking away, we turn the corner and we, we meet this guy from Jamaica, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he was really laid back, right? You yeah. Know, like really, you know, cool and all that, just looking at us. And we went, you know, and we just started having this conversation, where are you from and all that, got his name, his name, and um, went into the gospel, you know, that's why we're here. So we began, I began to share him about Jesus and about how he came to die for your sins and to give you a promise of salvation. I said, Do you, have you heard this before? And he says, no. And I'm like, what? <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, you haven't heard this? And he says, no. And, I, and I'm like, well, and after I shared it, I said, well, do you want to receive? And he goes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really, yeah. So we prayed with him in Orlando. Um, he accepted the Lord. He accepted Jesus right there, this guy from Jamaica. And we got his information and another name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. So we were so honored to go out there and do that. And I just love you. I love you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank oh. you. So come on down.